two million fans. 32 participating teams. 11 host cities. Roads stretching hundreds of kilometers and a single shared purpose. The transport industry in its entirety has taken part in making traveling within Russia as comfortable as possible for the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia guests. Russia has become the first country in the world to provide free transportation for all fans and FIFA accredited journalists by way of organizing additional trains running between the host cities, as well as shuttle services between FIFA event venues within the cities themselves. The Transport Directorate 2018 was established specially for the 2018 FIFA World Cup Russia. Its purpose, to coordinate the free transportation between the host cities. All free transport was marked with a special free ride logo. Comfortable trains safely and quickly brought guests of the 2018 FIFA World Cup to the matches. To travel between the host cities, you had to have your fan ID and a match ticket and go through a simple booking procedure online or via the hotline. During FIFA World Cup, you could also go through this procedure at ticket offices at railway stations. The staff of the Transport Directorate worked around the clock, resolving issues related to the coordination of fans' transportation and promptly responding to incoming queries and requests. Russia is a huge country and there are long distances, so I think it's really good that there are free trains from one city to another because that uh, makes it easier for, for people and makes people want to come here to watch. To help guests navigate through the plethora of free transportation options available to and from the 11 host cities, as well as within them, a unique resource was developed, the Fans Transport Guide. Using this guide, one could book a ticket for the additional trains, find important landmarks in the city and plan optimal routes. During the tournament, for 734 additional trains, over 400,000 tickets have been booked by passengers from 175 countries. Based on the feedback that we've heard from foreign fans and FIFA-accredited media representatives, people from all over the world reacted very positively to this opportunity that has been provided by Russia during the World Cup. All buses with organized groups of football fans were equipped with a satellite system for entering the host cities. This meant that both the driver and the passengers could inform the emergency services if necessary. All transport vehicles have been refitted to provide for safe and easy use by disabled passengers. Access ramps, vehicles and train cars with low floors and wheelchair securements on board, emergency call buttons and many other features meant that every guest of the World Cup could enjoy their time spent in Russia. To be honest, many were skeptical that a disabled person could travel between the host cities of the World Cup. However, it turned out that not only could one do it, it could be done with comfort too. Thanks to the free ride system, my companion has also been able to ride for free. It has been a tremendous journey from humble beginnings, but much has been achieved and numerous issues have been solved and ambitious goals attained. We did it all together.